Hey YouTube, what's up? Pac Trail here. I'm doing a video on my M4 G&G, uh, also known as the GR16. Um, right here I have three mags. Um, this one came with the gun. These two I bought extra. I had tw I bought a pack of 12. I gave two away to my stepbrother for his M16 um, for Christmas for the fuck since I had too many of them. Um, I have three there, and then I have uh, two in each. So it's eight here and three there, it's eleven, so um, yeah, there's two in each pouch. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the gun itself with my new ACOG scope and new uh gearbox and everything inside there. Um well, flashlight I have on here. And I'll show you the red dot. Well, red and green. It looks really low on the camera, but it's not. It's pretty bright. Um, looks like it's flickering for some reason, and it's not. All right, but that's uh, red, low, red, high, and then uh, low green, and then high, high green. So, um, and then off. The batteries go in right there, right under the scope. You unscrew that little knob, put in two batteries, two little like watch battery kind of things. Um, but that's the gun. Oh, my battery, if you're wondering, I have a pack box, 10.8 volt, 3600 mAh battery. Um, the original charger is charging right now. It died over waiting around four weeks, so. Um, is that mag? And this, these mags, I don't know why. It's kind of gay, I think, but has this little thing that pops out to push all the BBs out of the mag which is good to get all the BBs out but it's kinda gay cause you know this thing's you know sticking out you drop it you know it could like break off once it hits the ground or something and you know just a little bit more fragile I guess I like the uh... I like like mid cap magazines but without the little thing that pops out just regular fucking like these 450 round mag and then this one so, um, oh, and this box, I know I'm Canadian, but it says I had a U.S. Army sticker, so I put that on there. Um, this is from, this, there's a box of 400 cartridges, a 5.56, tracer, rounds, linked, I guess, for, I'm guessing, the saw. Um, I got this from my stepdad. Or no, I got yeah, I got this from my stepbrother. I mean, and uh, yeah, he got that this from his grandpa, which used to be in the army. Um, in here, I have uh, two packs of batteries. One is still full. Ten on there, and then eight are on there. I took out two already. For the scope, uh, cleaning cloth for the lens. Um, little parts for the gearbox, which I didn't put back in because I had a complete new one. And I the gears, okay, I just got the new gearbox. I replaced some of the parts in them, like the gears and shit, put in my $70 helical gears from yourself, GI. Uh, I, that's my old M140 spring, the polycrab piston and cylinder and cylinder head and spring guide and tappet plate and air nozzle that came with the gearbox, which is kind of shitty. So I basically took out all those parts and put in my aftermarket better parts. So selector switch and everything. Um, for some reason, for my gun, um, after putting in the gearbox, I don't know, I'll try and fix it, but right now it's not that big of a deal. It's on safe. I know it doesn't make a click noise because something's fucked inside. It's on safe. Trigger you can pull. It's on semi, you can pull, and then when it's on fully auto, it's, it's basically backwards, so it's safe on fully auto. But I'm just wondering though, since safe is, well, I wonder if safe will be one shot and then semi will be one shot and then fully auto will, like won't exist or something I don't know it's fucked um, my box for the Gigi motor the old foregrips which I have my homemade silencer in between there just kinda take up more space the rail for the scope there's another one there's two that came with it um, I ordered a barrel extension, but they gave me a barrel that's like that long. It's fucking shitty. I didn't. Even, I told them not to 
send it, so but they sent it anyways. I didn't need that. Um, eight millimeter bushings and bearings. My old gearbox, which broke, cracked right there. So yeah, this is the version two G and G stock gearbox. My carrying handle, full metal. Um, don't need that because I got a scope. These are all the parts from my well. There's a Velcro patch in there for the jacket and whatever from my old gearbox. And like when I first got the gun, I took the gearbox apart, ordered in new parts. That gearbox broke because I didn't got all new internals and not did a new shell. So yeah, these are all the old. I have like a shitload of parts. Um, basically, if my gearbox ever fails. Yeah, if my gearbox ever fails, I have parts for fucking like three times to fix it. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Just showing a video on what I have and I've fucking finally done my goddamn M4 after like close to $1,500 of parts. Um, not really too impressed with the price, but. Hopefully uh, the gun doesn't break down anytime soon. The gear I'm not pretty satisfied with, but uh, the gun itself cost 395 for my local retailer. I'm in Canada. The gun had a lower plastic receiver, but I got complete new. Uh, well, the upper receiver was metal. The lower receiver was see-through kind of plastic Canadian compliance thing. So this guy Tyler at their stuff, GI, got him to send me uh, full metal lower. Uh, well, just full metal, new body, whatever. I didn't get a brand one, just a simple, you know, metal one, no brand name or anything. It's, I think it's G and G, but I'm not sure. Scratched up a little bit, and everything. So, and uh, yeah, he sent me that. Um, I installed that. I got my new outer barrel and everything. I didn't get a new inner barrel, which is what I really need. But uh, I tried ordering it. They back ordered it for some fucking reason. They can't ship a barrel here, but they can ship a full fucking metal gun here, which is, I ordered a full M16A4 for my brother, well, stepbrother, I guess. So, but, uh, yeah, before I end this video, I'll just, hopefully you guys can, um, yeah, this is the gun. Just turn this. There, a dot is right in the lens. Yeah, my front sight kind of wobbles, fucking genius. So that's the gun. Magazine. My new claw charging handle. Doesn't do anything. Um, inside. Um, it is a new gearbox. I uh, put in the old cylinder, so. Had a silver cylinder, but uh, it was too big, so. So, hmm. um, comment, rate, request, uh, leave a video response, response or a comment. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's about it. I'll see you guys later, I guess.